So we have seen how to use decorators on a class, but we can also use decorators on class properties, on methods, on accessors, etc. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how to use a decorator on a class property. Let's go to VS Code and let's try to understand property decorator with a simple example. For that, what I have done is I have created a simple class called product. There we have two properties, name and price, and we have a constructor using which we are initializing the value for this name and price property. Now, I'm going to create a decorator. So we have learned that a decorator is nothing but a function. And I'm going to call this function capitalize. Okay. And for now, on this function, we are going to write a console.log statement and it'll simply say capitalize decorator called. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's use this function as a decorator on one of the properties of this product class. So I'm going to use it on this name property. So in order to use a function as a decorator, first we use at symbol and then we specify the name of the function. And here we are not going to use parenthesis because this capitalize function here, it is our decorator function. It is not decorator factory. It is decorator function. Now here we have an error and this error is because when we use a decorator on a property, that decorator function takes two arguments. The first argument will be the target. Okay. And this target. So basically when we are using this decorator on an instance property. So this property here, it is an instance property. So a class can have two types of properties, static properties and instance properties. We have already talked about it earlier. So if the property is instance property, in that case, the target here will be the prototype of the object. But if it is a static property, in that case, this target will be the function constructor. So currently we are using it on the instance property. So in this case, the target will be the prototype object. Okay, but we might also want to use this capitalized decorator on static property also. So in that case, it will be constructor function. So here, what I'll do is I'll set the target as any for now. Because as I mentioned, the value which we are going to receive for this target parameter, it can be a constructor function if the property on which we are using it is a static property. And it can also be a prototype object if we are using that decorator on an instance property. So that's why I'm simply using any here. Then the second parameter which this decorator is going to receive is the property name. So I'll simply call it as property key. You can also call it property name. And this is going to be of type string. All right. So here I'm logging this message, capitalized decorator called. Let's also go ahead and let's log the property key. So before that, I'll add a string and I'll say property key. And then I'll use this property key parameter just to check what we have received for this property key parameter. And Let's also log the target. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. And you'll see that the capitalized decorator called. So basically, this function here, it has been called and it is logging this message. Then the property key is name because we have used this decorator on this name property. So property key is name. And target is this prototype object. Okay, now if I make this property a static property, let's see in that case, what will be the target? So since it is a static property, we don't need to initialize it here. So I'll comment it and let's assign an initial value to it. Maybe John. And here we still have an error and it says that the static property name conflicts with built-in property function dot name of constructor function. So for now, let's simply call it as maybe P name. Okay. And now let's save the changes. And now you will see that when we are using this capitalized decorator on a static property, in that case, the target points to the class. Okay. It basically points to this constructor function. But if I make it as non static, if I make it as instance property, in that case, it points to the 
prototype object. All right. So in this way, we can also use a decorator on a property. Now here, using this decorator, we are not doing anything. But what we want is when we are going to use this capitalized decorator on any string property, we want to change the first character of that string value in uppercase. So here I'm going to remove this initialization and let's also uncomment this line here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's instantiate this product class. So for that, I'm going to create a variable. I'll call it P equals new product. And here it is going to call the constructor of this product class. So there we need to pass the value for name and price. So for the name, let me pass Samsung. Okay, and for the price, let's pass 2400. Okay, now let me go ahead and let me log P. If I save the changes, you see here the product object has been logged. There we have the name as Samsung and price as 24. Now what I want is, I want this S to be in uppercase. So whenever this property will be logged, the first character of name should be in uppercase. For that, I want to use this capitalize decorator. So I'm using it on the name property. So whenever the value for this name property will be set, its first character should be capitalized. That logic I'm going to write here. So let me remove these console.log statements. Let me also remove this console.log statement. And here the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create a variable which is going to store the value. So here let me call it as value maybe. And it is going to be of type string. Then we are going to create two functions. We are going to create a getter function and a setter function. So first, let me go ahead and let me create a getter function. I'll simply call it as getter. And to this, we are going to assign a function. And inside this function, we are going to return the value by first converting its first character to uppercase. For that, let's say return. And then on the value, what we are going to do is we are going to use a method called care at basically this care at method is going to return us the character at a given index and here i'm going to pass zero because here i want to get the first character from the string value and then i'll convert it to uppercase okay so this expression here it is going to get the first character from the original value and it will convert it to uppercase and then to that we want to add rest of the values so again for that we will use plus and on the value I'm going to use slice method. So the slice method we use to get a substring from a string value. And here I'm going to pass one because what I want is I want to get all the characters from the string value except the first character. So the first character will be at index zero. When I'm specifying one here, that means the slice method is going to take all the characters from index one. And I'll also convert all those characters to lowercase okay so this is the value which we want to return so for example here this expression what it will do is so the first expression it will convert the first character to uppercase that means s plus the second expression it is going to get all the other characters from that value and all those will be converted to lowercase and then the concatenation of these two strings will be returned so this is our getter method. Let's also go ahead and let's create a setter. To this also, I'm going to assign a function. And here we are going to set the value. So here we have created this value property, but we are not setting a value for it. So we are going to set that value using this setter. So here we will say value equals and the setter function, it is going to receive a new value. So let's simply call it as new value. Okay. So here we'll say new value dot to lowercase. Okay, and this new value it is going to be of type string. All right, so inside the setter method, we will simply set this value. So whatever new value we will receive, we will convert it to lowercase and then we will set it to this value property. And since we are already converting it to lowercase here, we don't need to use this lowercase here because anyway other characters will be already in lowercase all right and then finally from this capitalize function 
we are going to return an object okay so here let's return an object and in that object we are going to set the getter and setter so for creating getter and setter in a class we use get keyword and after that we use a function so for the getter we want to use this getter function so i'll assign it that getter function and then we are also going to use this set so for creating a setter in a class we use set keyword and then we specify the setter function so to this set i am going to assign setter all right so we are returning that object that means when we are going to call this capitalize function here here we are going to receive an object this object where we will have getter and setter now here we have an error and this error says that the decorator function return type should be either void or any it cannot return any other type of value currently what we are doing is we are returning an object where we have the get property assigned with the function which is going to return a string value and we have a set property there which is also assigned with a function and its return type is void but the return type of the decorator function should be void or any so for now what we will do is we will explicitly specify the return type as any in that way let's see if it resolves the issue so now we don't have that error so we have set the type as any that means we can return anything from here okay and let's go ahead and let's save the changes now and now it has logged a product and here if i expand the name you will see that now the first letter of the product name is in uppercase if i pass something else maybe apple if i save the changes you'll see that the first letter of the product name is in uppercase we are passing it in lowercase but in the result we see it in uppercase because this decorator function here it is going to return us a getter and setter which will set the value for the property on which we have used it and using the getter we can get the value of that i hope this is clear so in this way we can also use decorators on a class property and as i mentioned earlier class property can be an instance property or static property and based on that this target is determined if the class property is a static property then the target will be constructor function but if the property is an instance property in that case this target will be the prototype object so here this target will be either object or function all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day